Hey, yo, homie. Is that my briefcase? Come on, you want it back? But, you know, I kind of look like Vincent, huh? Hey, dude, let her go, man. Man, you don't want to do this, man. We can talk about it. We can talk about it, man. 2.33 seconds. Let's see if I made the hit. 230 plus P ball ball and then a hollow point. Got some flame on that first one. The hollow point wasn't that bad. 230 balls, pretty spicy stuff. I wonder which agency ordered that over stock I got. Hi guys, ready for a review uh, at the range of the HK45C MK24 almost. I said mod 24 in the full unboxing. Look at my full unboxing video and what mods to make. So I got my grip tape on from Dawson Precision. Super grippy. I think I did a pretty good job. Looking pretty good. This is the LEM version. Just got the sights changed, so I need to confirm. Put on the True Glow Tritium Pro because the original rears were good, but they're, the original rear is too uh, distracting in the visual field. Uh, this is going to be much faster to not reconfirm the rears. This will be much faster for, you know, real defensive pistol use, up close and personal kind of stuff. I'll try to confirm now at 10 yards. Uh, I'm going from different holsters today. My good friends at Don Hume, I'll do some of this. This is great for 330, and it's decent, except I have a big belly for appendix if I was skinny. And running a rounder would be good for appendix, but it keels out a little bit because I'm running uh, 10 round elephants for the first time, so I got to function test this. I added plus two base from HK Parts on this, so I got to function test that. I'll be running Atlanta Arms ammo mostly, and then at the end, I got some different hollow points and even plus P ball to uh, run through it. So, if you want a full look, see, please look at my full review. Also, how to put the grip tape on. Now we got the new night sights. I think I got a great package. Is this the ultimate 45 for carry and or for going to war? Well, if it worked for the Navy SEALs, I think it would work for me and you too. All right, here we go. Okay, guys, please thumbs up, share, subscribe. Gonna check the sights now, 10 yards, going slow from a jet outside waistband that Dom Hume sent me. It's great, but I don't really carry it at 3 o'clock anymore, but someday I might go back to it or with the suit. Or whatever, so I'm glad they sent it out. It's really great. I'm just gonna go slow and check the sights. Okay, let's check. And I put little accelerator cuts on both sides too, and got my thumb on there, and this stuff's really grippy. Dawson Precision, so it seemed to work really good. I'll buy that for a dollar. <laughs> Ten yards, new sights. Still getting used to the tri LEM trigger. I'm happy with that. They're touching basically on the spine and heart. <laughs> happy now with the new sights. Let me show you something. To really test yourself, it's not just accuracy, it's time and accuracy. People taking three seconds to draw and five seconds to sight in and one second, two second splits. That's not going to cut it in defensive gun use. So it is absolutely essential you can get a range timer. And this new range tech timer, I played with it once so far, it has been awesome. And especially if you're a competitor or a range officer, you can have the competitor wear this on their belt. And you don't have to be up in their business where you're possibly in distance to, you know, take an ND round. So, guys, make sure you check out the range tech because I really think this is what you need to get your skills down. Okay guys, keep inside, uh, in mind I'm not an outside waistband carrier anymore, but I'm gonna go a couple more times from it to check out the holster, the JIT holster from Don Hume. Let's see if I can hit three seconds to a headshot. Now I can barely see the head box on this Targets Online target. Uh, it's at about 10, 11 yards, so I can barely see it, so I might actually miss because I can't really see the outline. But let's see, uh, from appendix, I like to get it under three seconds. I get like 2.1, 2.2 to a, a good headshot, even at 15 yards. So let's see if we can do it on the Rage Tech timer. Let's see how it turns out. And 
And I made the part time two and a half seconds. Two and a half. Hopefully I made the hit. Let's see. Well, I'm not happy with that. Like I said, I can't see this, so I'll have to do this later with that target that's photorealistic that I can see. I must have yanked the trigger and rushed a little bit, two and a half seconds. But from appendix, let's see if we can do a little bit better from appendix. All right, let's try it again this time from appendix. Pretty good. No barrier. Not bad. So guys, we see a much better hit and faster 2.32 instead of 2.5 from appendix because that's how we've been carrying. So that kind of tells you about program compliance. Try to carry in the same place every day unless it happens to be a weird thing where you, you know, have to change up for, you know, a funeral or something like that. So I think that gives you a little bit of data. All right, guys, my friend Slick50 is going to check out the HK45C for the first time with the LEM. He's used to HKs with DASA, but not the LEM trigger. Let's see if he likes it. Dead center. Dead center. Dead center. There we go. So, you like it? Yeah. The LEM trigger is nice, huh? Oh, yeah. That's Guys, watch my full review. I totally go over the trigger. Uh, it's like no trigger. <laughs> there you go. So... Yeah, I enjoyed that. Okay, guys, I gotta get used to the mag release. That was cool that Slick 50 <laughs> just happened to make a cameo appearance and get three dead center with the HK45 compact. So I'm gonna do a two reload, two drill. Uh, now that I put the grip tape on, I was using my trigger finger before in the HK. Now with the grip tape so big, so uh, strong, grippy, it seems like middle finger is gonna be better uh, way to go on the primary hand. So I'm gonna attempt to do that. It may be really slow. And guys, when I carry every day normally from appendix, I just carry uh, a little thing in my back pocket with a mag in it. Right now, I'm gonna go from a mag holder. So if I was carrying outside waistband with the uh, down Hume holster they sent me, they also sent me a nice mag holder on my opposite side, which is good for weight in your back anyway. So if I was carrying three o'clock, I'd probably put on this mag holder and do it that way. Um, so I'll go from the mag holder uh, today at three o'clock. Okay, two reload two. All A zone, yay! So all A zone, two, and I think those two on top of each other, I think those are slick, uh, slick 50s. He's got an amazing collection. If you haven't seen the video, broken down in different sections, amazing collection, slick 50s. Thumbs up, share, subscribe. We're gonna keep going here in a minute. Let's check a draw to head shot on a swing target, seven yards. The eyeball, I think. Just, just a tad bit low, 1.8 seconds, 1.8 seconds. I'd like that to be about 1.65 for a headshot. And seven yards is a little bit slow. Let's try five yards from the surrender position. Same thing, headshot. Nose. Okay, so not bad, so just a little low again. I kind of think it's the sights, like I'm telling myself to shoot the top of the sights, but because the big white, I'm kind of, you know, doing a combat hold. And instead of putting the sight there, I think that's what's going on, because a lot of my shots have been a little low. So, you know, you gotta test your gear. All right, guys, let's start rocking and rolling a little bit. Stick stuff. Well, that was a lot faster than I thought. Three out of four good shots. Four shots on target in 2.39 seconds. Uh, I forgot to turn it off. 2.39 seconds for four shots with the transition to the head. 138 to the first. That's a lot faster than I thought I could do from this holster. All right, guys, now you're chilling at a diner, and uh, these two guy, guy and girl couple comes in, and you're just chilling, but then they want your wallet that says BMF on it. That's why I do the range theatrics, always looking around, because you don't just want to get in the muscle memory or reholstering quickly, guys, because 
There's always other people, and even getaway driver might come in. You got to look behind you. We've seen a lot of footage of that. You don't want to do a good job and then get whacked from behind. Okay, let's go on the Range Tech timer again. Go to saw, evaluate again, and then reholster. That's the way to do it. Thumb on the back of the hammer with the hammer fired gun. Okay, 1.59 the first shot. That's a little slow. I want that at 1.5, guys. Uh, but look at the splits. We got like 22, 20, uh, and there was like a 22 and then a 19. Some head headshot uh, transitions in there. Doing better that time. Three all good upper thoracic hits. Three all good upper thoracic hits. Much better that time. Came back, made my headshot after dealing with the uh, the accomplice, the female accomplice there. Perfect. Pretty much perfect, even though the, the zone's kind of he heavier. But if you look where the bottom of her boobs are, and she, she ain't that old, that would still be really good. That would be really good. That's just a little bit low. And also made my headshot. So, real world, test your gear, doing real world stuff. Hey, yo, homie. Is that my briefcase? Oh, you want it back? So I went for three o'clock. No, I didn't have a suit on. It's a little more difficult to do so you have to do your cover garment. But, see collateral. I forgot a timer. Damn it. Right, let's do it again in time. Let's see it. First run results, two perfect A zone upper thoracic hits on the gun in your face from bent elbow technique with the HK45 compact. And then two double taps on top of each other in the heart and a perfect headshot. And he was farther away than in the movie collateral. Let's see if I can do it again, this time timed. Hey, yo, homie, you got my briefcase? Come on, you want it back? Shoots a little easier, but, you know, I kind of look like Vincent, huh? I got the silver pants. I need a silver suit coat. I don't have it. Didn't have it today. So I had to do it from a t-shirt. That's a little more difficult than throwing it open and carrying it at 3 o'clock. But, hey, let's check our time. All right, Larry Vickers. Larry Vickers, what do you think? I'm a little slow. If I had a suit, I'd be faster. It'd be more like 1.6 the first shot rather than 1.74 if I had a suit coat. Um, pretty good split there, 20 something, 22 split. Headshot transition, 54, 21 split, and uh, then a headshot transition. So 3.22 seconds overall. I gotta rewatch it, I think it was like 2.85, 2.7. So, I don't know, I guess got some catching up to do. <laughs> I got some catching up to do to Tom Cruise, I guess. All right, pretty much empty range. Let's do a 357 drill as if I am a Navy SEAL doing a room entry. And uh, you got opponents at different distances, unknown distances. Let's try to jack the heart rate up just a little bit real quick. Stack at the door. And here we go. Down. That is the world's slowest reload. <laughs> All right. Okay, guys, that was a really interesting run. So coming around the corner with movement, and yes, I was safe. I, the muzzle never left. Uh, I was in a safe area. All three here, upper thoracic. That one's kind of questionable, but really close to the spine and the lungs. So there would be a little bit of pressure coming off, and hopefully, hollow point expansion. And then I came back later to him, put one on his nose, a little low, but that will still get the job done. Uh, she was number three. I put one, two, three here, all upper thoracic. The target's actually a little, it should be a little bit lower on her, the way she's built. You know, in the chesticle area, that's a de uh, down tango. And one, not great. One, two, three, two are great. And then not one, but two headshots. 
Not one, but two headshots. If you see, I thought the assumed the pistol was empty. Obviously, there was some space kraut magic going on. Go back and rewatch that part again, and you'll see what I'm talking about. And I know I don't like that it's a kid target, but a kid can be a deadly threat. A teenager certainly nowadays, especially, can be a deadly threat as well. All right, guys, let's run the 357 entry style drill again. If you're in an outdoor range, you can do this kind of thing. I have an empty range right now. Let's try to jack the heart rate up a little bit. I won't do it that long because we're on camera, but you should do this stuff if you're safe and advanced for the real thing. Then we'll pretend I'm on Navy SEAL or HRT, your SWAT, doing an entry. Okay, stack that at the door, hit my timer, and I'll go. And notice they're at a different arrangement this time. Always, always change it up, guys. Alright guys, I'm hoping you're enjoying this thorough review. Let's go on the range tech timer, the HK45C. I got three rounds left before the Dutch buffet and hollow point function test. Alright, so hopefully you like some of this stuff. Now let's, I set it for like two to three second delay with the ready signal. You can change what it says, load and make ready and all this kind of different stuff. It's really very cool. Um, I think I hit it. I said, let's see. Um, yeah, I did. <laughs> and then... And then uh, I'm giving myself a two to three second part time to draw and make the headshot. So I'm verbally de escalating or hostage negotiator. And uh, about five yards here. Hey, dude, let her go, man. Man, you don't want to do this, man. We can talk about it. We can talk about it, man. Just made it at the buzzer, I think. And I'm not sure if it stopped, but I heard a beep. 2.33 seconds. Let's see if I made the hit. Let's go again, but this time let's do a double tap. Hey man, let her go, man. You don't want to do this, dude. The first one was under the par time. I think they were both clean hits. 2.79 for two shots to the head from concealment. Uh, you know, that's not bad. If it wasn't a hostage target, you try to get that under two seconds. But 2.79, being a little extra safe for hostage, even under three seconds, that's kind of the way to go. And I put two more right there in the tee box on the top of the nose. I'm happy with that. Thumbs up. Just to show you what's up for the Dutch Pavet, we're starting with a regular 230 grain ball. And I'll probably do two and then three and then two and then three or something like that. And then we got um, 220 plus P critical duties. And then we got 230 plus P ball, rare, but I got it. And then we got plus P hollow points of hotness and goodness there. And that's all I'll say about that. So let's do it. All right, everybody, I want to thank you all for watching. I know this has probably been a long one. That's because I got some good range time in and they're letting me be cool. I want to thank the range as always. I want to, before we finish with the Dutch buffet, I want to thank Targets Online for all this realistic, uh, photo realistic targets to let you get psychologically used to what you're really going to face. I think that's really important. They're hard card stock, great for outdoors and rain and all that. That's why law enforcement around the country and world use them. Um, uh, the range tech timers been awesome. It's been great. You need feedback, guys. It's accuracy plus time. Just accuracy with no time. It's just target shooting. Okay. Once you're at a safe, advanced level. Okay. So range tech, it's been awesome. And uh, Dutch buffet. So I'm going to do a double tap first. We're going regular ball to 220 plus P critical duty. I'll do it over here so you can hopefully see some recoil. Then I think we'll do a triple tap. We'll be critical duty, 220 plus P, critical duty, 220 plus P, and then a 230 plus P ball. And then we'll do 230 plus P ball, 230 plus P ball, um, and then flying hollow point. And then we'll do the last three flying hollow points again. I also put them in with the slide lock back and dropped them on a couple of the rounds and also totally having to rack the slide to make sure they feed that way. So between that and this, I don't really want to throw more dollars than that. All right, here we go. I'll just go slow and fire. I've circled all the hits on him previously. That's the most undamaged target I got. At about seven yards, it looks like. Um, so maybe we'll see some 
different. The grip tape's really strong, and I'm glad I put the accelerated pad on there. That seems to really make a difference if I manage on the draw to meet up and get the thumb on it. I didn't feel much difference. Okay, triple tap, critical duty, critical duty, and then plus P230 ball. Two thirty plus P ball is a little snappy, okay? Now two thirty plus P ball ball and then a hollow point. Got some flame on that first one. The hollow point wasn't that bad. Two thirty balls, pretty spicy stuff. I wonder which agency ordered that over stock I got. Okay, and now I think I got my last three flying hollow points in there. Jump it! And lock back and there we go. So hopefully you can slow it down maybe and see the recoil and flash difference. Um, I think I had a pretty good grip. Some of it's pretty snappy, but I love the HK45C guys, especially now that I got the new night sights on it and the grip tape on it. You saw me on two and three targets, different ranges, all the realistic stuff. This is that important of a pistol that I made a long video guys, because basically it got adopted by SOCOM and the Navy SEALs in 2011 as the Mark 24. Now this has the LEM trigger. My guesstimation is that some of them have switched it to TCAC only to guesstimate to, to LEM by now, but I don't know. Um, it's great, obviously reliable, obviously AHK. I do a full unboxing, really get into that. Please look at the full unboxing. Please always thumbs up, smash that subscription button. Help me out, only 10% of you. If you like more than you two of my videos, smash that subscription button, help me out. Thumbs up, share. This is expensive, especially when I'm throwing bills down range like I'm at a gentleman's club with the hollow points and stuff. So, uh, anyway, guys, the HK45C empty fire. This is great. Take a look. Take a look. It's beautiful. It's wonderful. I'm happy. And it's great for 10 round capacity limited states. And uh, anyway, guys, look at my top five revolvers, top 10 uh, lightweight carry pistols. Look at all those videos. Thumbs up, share, subscribe, and stay safe out there. I'll catch you on the flip side, huh?